Alrighty, hello guys, Lucky Me Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with our steam locomotive, and as you guys can see, we switched this thing out to have some smaller wheels, and now we are actually moving with no wheel spin, as you guys can see just now. Uh, essentially, what we want to do today to increase our speed is to add three, or actually to add two, uh, more fireboxes in order to actually make this work a little bit better. With that being said, I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but uh, we'll try it. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? Alright, so there are a few different ways of doing this, uh, or actually speeding up the train, I guess. We could pump in more steam into the actual train itself, uh, into the pistons, and then pump it back out and pump it back around into the condensers that then pump it back to the start and then pump it back through again. Uh, or we can actually just try and delete this and add more of these. And hopefully, uh, if we add a firebox per engine, it'll actually work. I don't know whether this will work, but we should definitely give it a go. So we're going to delete this one straight away. We're going to delete the hopper as well. And uh, we're going to have to delete these guys to fit everything in. So hopefully we can get on with this. Uh, whether we can or whether we can't, I'm not sure, but um, there's going to be a lot of pipes going back that way. Like, a lot of pipes. Alright, so how do we go about doing this then? We need a firebox, obviously, so let's go ahead and grab the smaller firebox. This is the large one, we need the small one. I don't know what the difference is between them. Uh, I don't know whether this can, like, send out more coal or, or more, more coolant or not. Uh, I don't think so, so we're going to go with the smaller one. Uh, hopefully we can fit three of these. Uh, we might have to put them sideways. That would be weird. Anyway, put the one in the middle in first and put it there. Then the one at the side, legit, is is going to be too big. <laughs> it's going to be too big uh, if we do it this way. But we... Ah, we're going to go for it. There we go. So we're going to put that there. And we're also going to put this one here. And there we go. That means that the cab is actually going to be, like, way off the sides. But hopefully that'll be okay. Maybe. Alright, so we're also going to go ahead and get rid of most of this, there you go, and we're also going to get rid of most of this as well, just so that we can uh, have it look a little bit nicer, which I think makes sense to me. We're also then going to grab this guy and replace that colour with uh, white, and we'll go from there. Okay, excellent. We're also actually going to go ahead and delete all of this, all the way down to the end, uh, like so. We're then going to delete this one, all the way backwards as well, there you go, fantastic. Uh, and hopefully that'll be fine. With that being said, we now need to attach all of them on in different varieties or different ways. Uh, and hopefully that'll be okay. So, firstly, we're going to go ahead and attach this guy straight on to the first ones. So, all we have to do is go with pipes. Yes. Uh, we're going to make them grey pipes. That's fine. We're going to go off the sides. That's okay too. And hopefully we can send it upwards and across the top and straight in. Hopefully this will work. I'm sure it will. So we're going to bring this up, there you go. We're going to bring this uh, backwards from there, just like so. And we're going to send it. So that goes from there, all the way backwards to there. And hopefully, that'll be fine. I'm sure it will be. So there you go. They're both in. Excellent. With that being said, this one actually isn't in because they're in different places. But it should work if we do this. Uh, and that should be A-OK. -okay. There we go, fantastic. So there's one, pretty much done. Uh, obviously, we've got the air inlet and stuff like that we need to figure out. But we'll do that later. Um, so now we need to attach this one on, and then we need to attach the other one on, and then everything will be fine, maybe. Alright, so the way that I'm going to do this on actually both sides is we're going to send them both inwards, like this, and like this. There you go, excellent. We're then going to send this one straight up, and this one, you guessed it, straight up. There we go, excellent. Uh, and we're going to build this up to about that place right there. Obviously the cab is going to be here, so it's not too much of an issue having all of this. Uh, and also, side note, we can actually add the uh, the valves onto here. Um, actually, maybe we can't. No, we definitely can't, actually. Never mind. Uh, but anyway, this is going to go this way like so. We're then going to have to build it round. And it's going to come this way. And then it's going to have to go up and over. So that's going to go there. In fact, actually, we're going to do this first. That's going to go up and over this one. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. This one's going to come forwards. Actually, this way. Then this way. Then this way. And straight in to there. We're then going to have to build these guys into certain areas. I don't know how this is going to work, but let's try it. So that's going to go there like that. This is going to go here like this. And we should be able to send these down. So, uh, yeah. That's going to go to that one. Okay, awesome. And then on the other side, that's going to go to the next one. Uh, just like that. Problem is, 
Uh, one of these has to go to here, and one of those has to go to there. So we actually have to do some finagling here uh, in order to make this work. So let's say this one on this side is going to go to here. Let's go ahead and build that in real quick. Do, do, do. There you go. Excellent. And there we go. So this is... Um, I don't know whether it matters which way around the coolant goes in and out, as long as they're on separate things. So now we need this one to go to the same place, which is interesting. So we need to delete all of this back to there. And we need to send this one from here forwards. There you go. Have it go down and then across and then in. And hopefully all of that will be fine. I think it will actually. So put that there. Go ahead and build it across and send it. There we go. Excellent. And then these guys need attaching onto these places. So this is going to go one more that way. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. We're going to grab one of these, send it sideways, just like this. This is a lot of pipes. This is a hell of a lot of pipes. It's then going to go there, and then it's going to go there, and that'll be fine. This is going to go here, and then upwards, and then backwards, and then straight into there. So there we go. We now have three fireboxes, uh, one per engine, or one per boiler. That's insane. That is actually pretty insane. Uh, on these, we're actually just going to go ahead and allow the air to go in. So... We're going to go ahead and get some of these. One there, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and one there. And we are not going to add valves to those. That might be a bit silly, but we're going to go with it for now. Hopefully that's fine. Um, so yeah, everything else should work that we currently already have. Um, there's nothing on here that is any different, so we're just going to go ahead and attach this guy. And then we're going to get some hoppers and whack them on the top. So, mineral hopper. Oh, really? They don't fit quite like that? That's annoying. Because that one's going to have to go there. And then we don't have any that actually fit this together. Oh, that's really silly. That's really silly. No. What do I do in that situation? I don't actually know. The mineral, the, like these ones would work. But they won't work properly because they're, they're too big. They go backwards too far. So what is my option of fixing that? Well, we can grab this all the way to here. Go ahead and cut it. Move it this way one. Paste it back in. Then grab these guys and put them on the top. Do, 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 do. We might have to change these later, but there you go. Put them all on there. Merge this guy with these guys. Go ahead and uh, fit these guys together as well. Delete that one, that one, that one, that one. This one and this one. And hopefully we can make this work. So there you go. Air and exhaust. That's all good. Go ahead and grab a pipe instead of a firebox. There you go. Put that there. Put it there. Put it there. And put it there. Excellent. So now it should work. Uh, with that being said, they're all attached onto there. They're all attached onto the rest of it as well. And we have a speedo too. All right, let's go. Spawn it in. This is pretty ridiculous. Having three fireboxes uh, for an engine. Bad idea, but there you go. So turn this on. We've got 369 coal. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get up here. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to wait for them all to gain temperature. They are all doing it at the same speed, which is excellent. Because all the fireboxes got turned on at the same time. Yeah, unfortunately though... Uh, obviously, some of these pipes are a little bit longer than others. I'm not entirely sure that matters. Because they're all... Uh, they are slightly different. They are slightly different already. This one's definitely... Uh... Oh, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Because the, the thing's turning at a slightly different speed. But that's okay. So, they're all at 100 at pretty much the same time. That's good. Now, all the temperatures... All the pressures are going to go up really quickly. And then we should be able to just send it, I think. Yeah, we should be able to just send it. So we're going to go ahead and push this. There we go. We should start moving. Excellent. Yes, off we go. So currently we're going 5 meters per second. I should change this into miles an hour or something. Uh, more relatable, but never mind. So our boiler pressure is still going up. That's all good. Let's go ahead and increase this. Okay, how fast are we going? 10. Okay, 11. That's fine. Oh, it seems so weird having that much smoke coming out of this, but there is a lot of smoke. Now we're going to increase this to max. And that is it. That is our maximum speed, I think. Okay, our pressure is staying the same. This should go down and then go back up. And then we should be good to go from there, maybe. Uh-oh, now all my boilers are exploding. That's no good. <laughs> That's really not good. Hang on, let me go ahead and grab it real quick. Uh, we're going to add the other things as well that we kind of need. So, we're going to go ahead and add some pumps onto the steam that send the steam through a little bit quicker uh, from here. So, delete this. Actually, what's the easiest way of doing this? Uh, we're going to delete that and that. We're also going to delete this. We're going to get a pipe and we're going to have it send it backwards. I know that sounds weird, 
Then we're going to bring it back around. And then we're going to get ourselves a pump and attach it onto there. So, yeah. There is some bottlenecks going to happen here, but we'll see what happens. So, that should go probably around here. Uh, yep, it's in a wheel. That's probably not good, actually. Uh, what's the best way of fitting this in? I don't know what the best way of fitting this in would be. Um, unless we put it, like, back here. Yeah, okay, we actually delete that and we have it go straight into there. That makes sense. And then what is this? This is fluid in. So it actually has to be the other way around. So there we go. Go ahead and attach that onto there. Uh, then we need to pipe it up and over. So that's fine, okay? It's okay to do this. Well, then send it this way and send it back round, uh, back down, and then back through. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. Who knows? There you go. So send that that way. It'll allow the steam to get to the wheels quicker. And hopefully that will allow the steam to actually be made quicker. Because for now we've got the extra fire thingy -bob bobbies. So that should be fine, I think. With that being said, all of these should probably, like, always be on kind of thing. Uh, and they'll be on when the fireboxes are on. That makes sense, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put two more of these in on each, more, each boiler. Uh, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so I've added pumps to each one of these. There's the one at the front, then we've got one right there, and we've got one right there. So they're in different places everywhere, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but there you go. We're going to start the engine up again, or the uh, the fireboxes. And hopefully this time it'll go a little bit better. If these fireboxes aren't actually that much of an improvement, uh, we might as well go back to the other one, to be totally honest with you. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okie dokie, we're also going to go ahead and let this get up to uh, pressure quite a bit, uh, which should be pretty good. Uh, and also, it shouldn't actually explode anymore because uh, the pump is actually before the outlet valve. So, um, if we do get too much pressure, it will just start pumping it out of the system uh, pretty quickly. There you go, just like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and increase this and off we go. I know I shouldn't have increased it to full straight away, but never mind. There we go. Alright, so we're at 17, now we're at 18, now we're at 19, now we're at 20, 22. Uh, 23, 24, 25. This is the fastest I've ever been in a steam locomotive. Okay, 29, 30. Okay, 30. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I love it, though. Okay, 30 seems like a, a good number to me. I like that. You know, that's almost like 70 miles an hour. That's actually uh, really fast, to be honest. That is that is pretty quick for a, for a steam locomotive. Uh, it might drop down once the pressure drops down, but no, it hasn't. We are still going 29, even though the pressure is a more like not 1.2 or something. We're going to go ahead and drop it down a tiny bit to increase the pressure slightly. And then once we increase the pressure, we can uh, maybe go faster. Yeah, look, it's letting it go a little bit quicker. We're at 30. Oh, look at it go. Oh, this thing is rocketing along. So I think the addition of the new fireboxes, so that each boiler has its own firebox, is pretty interesting. Uh, and then the pumps actually work quite well as well. With that being said, we might actually have to add pumps on the other system, bringing it back around. Uh, because that might be a bit of an issue, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and increase this. We're currently at 31. Actually, lower this back down. It seems to be doing better when it's lower. Interesting. All right, so just to show how fast it is, uh, that is the uh, the old one. We're going to... Oh, it's on the same track. I thought I put it on the left track, but I guess it switched over. Um, we're going to show you guys how quickly we actually, actually end up catching up to that one. That one's going about 13. So, um... Yeah. Oh, one of our boilers has actually reached uh, pressure point. Interesting. It's still going up too, even though it's being let out. All right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, I knew that was going to happen, but we're still good, I think. I think we can still keep going. Um, but yeah, our speed dropped quite a bit there, and I'm not entirely sure why. So if anybody knows why our speed has dropped all the way down, let me know. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, it's down to 17. We're about to crash into the other one again. Okay. I mean, that is why our speed is down a little bit too. So, if we regain pressure, I don't think it gets out quick enough. We're going to explode. Yeah, we exploded. So, now we need to limit the actual amount of um, temperature comes out of the, uh, the fireboxes. That is actually really important. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Do, do, do. Look at how far around we got. That's ridiculous. So we need this one, let's go. Uh, and we're going to fix it. So essentially, if you regulate the air that is actually going into the fireboxes, you can control the temperature of the fireboxes, which then controls the temperature of everything else. So if we just delete the air supply on every single one of these, that's air, that's exhaust. This is air, and this is exhaust. Okay, I wish I did these two on the side differently, but never mind. 
Uh, in fact, I can do that. Let's just go ahead and delete this one. Let's grab it, delete it, and put it back. But hopefully the right way around. Is that right? This should be... Oh. No, the other way around. Okay, so put it there. Press U. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So the ones on the outside are the same now, so the air supply is actually on the inside. That makes more sense anyway, so I'm good with that. Anyway, valve to open it up. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Uh, we could just put it on there like, like that. There you go. We can do it again, and we can do it right again. There you go. Wait, is this exhaust? Yeah. Delete that, put it there. Excellent. So what that does is allows our air to actually open up whenever the uh, temperature reaches a certain point. With that being said, we now need three of these instead of just one. There we go. And these are threshold gates. So we're going to let it get to 190. Let's see if that works. So 190 right there. 190 right here. And we're going to attach all of those to each engine. So hopefully this works. So value to test is the temperature of the firebox. Temperature of the firebox. And then temperature of the firebox. There you go. Excellent. That's good. And then we're going to go ahead and put the threshold gate on each one of these. So that needs to go there. That needs to go there. And this needs to go here. And now it should open every single one of these if they need opening. Which um, they will. So there you go. All right. Nice. So now if we want our air supply to work properly, uh, it does. Also, I'm actually going to go ahead and raise this up to 200. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to go with 190. Uh, and that should be fine. Okay, right, so we were at a speed of 30 meters per second there, which is about 70 miles an hour. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I want it to go a little bit faster. So I don't know how we're going to do that, how we're going to go about doing that. But let's figure it out. We're going to lower these to 50%, by the way. There you go, so 50% on there, 50% on here, and 50% on there. And that should be good. There we go, excellent. Uh, we should be able to go from there. So let's spawn it in. Get it going, and see what kind of speed we can go. This is, uh, this is really good. This is really good. Wait a second, I was just thinking about this. What if we actually had a firebox at the front? I know it's not really a, a, a way of doing things normally, but what if we did? Because then the actual firebox itself would be very close to this boiler, uh, and allow it to actually heat up quicker, which means that we could get more steam into it, uh, maybe. Wait, actually, hang on. We need to be going. We need to be going. All right, let's go. That dial has reached zero. Why? Is the front one not working? Hang on. The front one's got no steam in it. We're never going to reach thingy. We're never going to reach thingy. Why has it got no steam in it, though? What's wrong? What's wrong with that one? How do we even get there? So that it's the, the one on the right-hand side. It's this one. Okay. Oh, it's because I haven't reconnected this. There you go. So reconnect this up. Now it'll work. Let's go. But yeah, would it be strange to have a cab on the front as well as a cab on the back? I'm not sure it will be, but maybe. Maybe it would be strange. Uh, the other thing would be actually adding a firebox in the center as well. But then we'd have to get coal to it somehow, and I don't know how we would do that. But um, yeah, this is all going up pretty nicely. That one on the end is, is definitely slower, but not by much. But yeah, still slower. Um, also, all of the pressures should get to the same amount very quickly, so that would be good. I might even pump this uh, around as well. We might add bigger pumps to these, which should hopefully allow it to be a little bit quicker, uh, which should be pretty good. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to wait for this to get to about three, and then we're going to go ahead and open it, and hopefully we'll beat the speed of 30. Not that I've changed much, but let's go. Okay, in fact, I haven't changed anything, have I? So this is at 10, it's at 11, it's at 12, it's at 14. Okay. Are our pressure still going up? No, nope. we're going to go ahead and lower this down just a little bit so that our pressure can still raise, which indeed it is. Uh, and then we can go from there, because currently we're only at 15. In fact, lower it all the way down, get our pressures built fully, and then we're just going to go ahead and floor it and uh, see what happens there. Also, I want to make sure it doesn't just blow up, because if it blows up, I'm going to cry. Here we go. We're going to see if this one blows up. Ah, there we go. It's getting rid of it quick enough. On all of them. Very good. Let's go. Yeah, okay. So we're at 10, we're at 11, we're at 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, we need to get it up to 30 if we can. If we can, that would be great. Here we go, 26, 27. Oh, yeah, it's slowly doing it. That's excellent. We're not even falling off the tracks either. So 27. Oh, why is it going back down again? Is it because we're going around bends? 
No, it's just going back down. Hmm. I don't think we're actually producing steam quick enough. Also, um, I don't know how we feel about the condensers. But I feel like we need pumps going from the condensers back around, maybe. Uh, and what else have I changed? Yeah, I changed the amount of fluid uh, in the tanks. So if we go back to here and have a little look at this tank real quick. It does have it does have stuff in it, but it needs a pump on it pumping through the boiler. So let's do that real quick. All right, so what we're actually going to do, which might uh, upset a few of you guys, we're actually going to go ahead and delete each one of these in order to actually replace them with smaller ones, uh, which then we can add pumps to. Hopefully that'll be okay. So delete that. There we go. Uh, we need to somehow add a pump to this. I want to move these guys out of the way as well, so I'm going to quickly do that. Let's go ahead and grab every single one of these. There you go. That one, that one, and that one. Go ahead and cut it. Move it backwards. Move it down. We can just have it there. That'll be fine. All right, so paste this onto there. Excellent. We're then going to try and build this in the way that we need it. So we need a uh, tank. We need a tank. We're going to go with a medium one, and we're going to put that tank right here. The only problem with that is we need it to be able to pump in. So actually, if we delete these guys and put it on the side instead, we are going to make it this color. If we put it on the side instead, we can then add a pump that pushes it into there, which I think we can do on every single one of these. So we delete these guys, including that one, and we'll put it there. Pipe. One second. Grab a pipe. There you go. Send it sideways. Get a tank again. And we should be able to put it right here. Yes, which then gives us enough room to add a... Um, Add a pump to it. That'd be good. We're also going to make all of these fresh water as well. Because we should. So fresh water and fresh water. And then we're going to go to this one. Do exactly the same thing. If we can. And that would be great. That'd be really good. Actually. So put this guy right here like this. Get ourselves the tank. Put it on there. Just like so. And make that fresh water. Very good. So now we're going to pump it from here into there. I know a few of you guys have said to stop it from blowing up. Uh, we actually need, um, we actually need, like, to trickle the water in. But we're not getting enough water in it at the moment anyway, so maybe this is fine. So let's go ahead and add a pump to this and see what we can do from there. So we need pump in, obviously, there. Uh, yeah, okay, that's actually right. That's correct. Do the same thing on all of them. There we go. And the same thing on this one. There we go. And that is excellent, actually. So build this this way. Build it that way. Uh, bring this this way, and bring this one this way. There you go. Grab ourselves a bunch of pipes, attach them all together, and that should be excellent. Yeah. Nice. I know a few of you guys will be very upset with this, but we'll see what happens anyway. So, let's go and attach this guy onto all of these, so that it's constantly pumping water in. Might be a bad idea, but whatever. Let's go. Uh, they all need electricity too. In fact, that might be one of our issues. I don't know whether I've given everything electricity. I think I have, but I'm not sure. Uh, so bring this backwards to here, and that is everything. All right, let's go. Let's see how this one works. So we got it up to 30 before. Let's see if we can increase that. Or at least have a constant 30, maybe. All right, so this one and this one are actually very close in terms of how much uh, they're, they're gaining pressure. But this one on the end is actually really bad. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure why. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and increase this to about half. There we go. And see what we get out of it, maybe. Okay, so our pressures are all at like 8 anyway. So we can go faster if we want to. Let's go ahead and increase this. So currently we're at 10. Let's continue. Hopefully this will work out, maybe. Alright, we're at 13. That's what we were at previously. That's good. 16. Okay, 17. We are past our best previous as well. So that's good. And we're going to increase it a little bit more. We're at 0.82. We're at 21. 22. Our pressure is going down, as you guys can see. Okay, maybe the water being pumped in is actually too cold. And therefore, the steam isn't actually heating up as amazingly well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but our pressure is definitely going down, and that's a problem. Yikes. But we are at 26. Everything seems to be working out quite nicely, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. I'm very happy with this. But anyway, uh, I am going to end the video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. In the next one, we might actually start building a bit of a uh, a bit of a, a boiler thingy-mobobby, a, a shroud, I guess, uh, the main body of it, and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.
Sorry, just to add on to the end of this video, is it possible that we can actually just recycle some of the steam back in and through? Because obviously if we, uh, we have a look down there, obviously the steam comes out of the pistons and then it goes and gets cooled and then recycled. But what if it actually just got out of the pistons and then straight back in? Like, what would that do? Is that, is that weird or is that okay? I'm not sure. 